Where the hell have you been? Didn't sleep very well last night. So what have we got? Where'd this happen? Shelly Beach. How long ago? Coroner reckons about seven hours, so midnight. What killed her? Surreal, you know, this girl. Lucinda. Lucinda wasn't just killed, she was overkilled. The pedicure hemorrhaging around her eyes, the bruised and torn skin on her neck, it's consistent with garroting. But that's not what killed her. She's been shot in the back, no exit wound, so low calibre, the bullet's still in her. No, then there's the fact that her hands are cuffed behind her back, execution style. You know, and the, the rose scares me. The calling card. You know, whoever killed her tortured her first. I hope we don't have a serial killer on the loose. What about Leeds? We're doing well. Uh, we found a case of money under a boat. Fingerprints match a small time crim, uh, Zeffirelli. Sent the bullet off for testing. And she was at a goth party. So we're talking to some of the patrons. So Sarah, do you know Shelley Beach? Yes. Were you there on the night of the 17th? No. Yeah, I swim there most mornings, but I haven't been there of late. I've, I've been injured. Anyone who can verify that for you, Rob? Look, I don't know no Shelley Beach. So you... You can call me Zef. <laughs> I mean, why would I lie? So I'm, I'm in a gun club. I mean, the gun is safely there. I was wondering, Rob, if you could help us with this. Cause we found enough drugs in Lucinda Deval's body to kill a fucking horse. I don't sleep well. Swimming helps, but the drugs help more. Besides, I wouldn't waste them on a hooker. What the f- I know you're hiding something. You see it's worth a month's salary. <laughs> you still haven't given us any explanation for the money. I swear, I didn't do anything. So tell us about your husband. What did you do to Lucinda? What did you do to her? You were on the beach that night. What were you doing there? He was sleeping with her on the side. I went to confront her. I followed her to the party. She was screaming, my husband. She was there with some other guy. And she looked at me like I was scum. So I walked away. I like fetish, all right? When I saw Lucinda, I had to have her. And then she knocked me back. God, I wanted her, but her dominant was there. And you don't know what he's like. I had some really big winnings, okay? I didn't want anyone stealing him, let alone my wife. I saw a guy and a girl, they walked down to the beach. He made her kneel down and whispered something into her ear. Then he just, he just left, okay? He left, he left her kneeling there. I wasn't gonna interfere, so I just drove off. Sarah's husband was cheating on her. And she's got the gun. And Zef, he's got criminal written all over him. But all at once? No, oh, I don't think so. I think someone wanted us to look at them, thought the overkill would hide them. You knew her, didn't you? You were her dominant, weren't you? She had no choice but to stay on that beach because you ordered her to. And then you killed her. Got a snub nose in your ankle holster, handcuffs too, all standard issue. And look at you. You haven't shaved in a week. You're a mess. Post defense behavior. I thought you'd know better. I didn't want anyone stealing him. Like I was scum. I wasn't going to interfere. So I just drove off. So I walked away. 
I don't sleep well. The drugs help. So, I walked away. I just drove off. Jeff. If you want something done properly, do it yourself.